morning. Morning. If you guys are still connecting to audio. Hey guys, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Lisa, I never heard how your homework went from the other week. Do you want to pop a little note? That was the one where we're writing goals each um, day, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I've actually been doing well with that. Last week, I couldn't join because I had an emergency um, situation at work, so I couldn't join. Um, but yeah, I have been writing down small goals each week, and I think it's very, very helpful. Okay. Helping you. That's what's important, right? Absolutely. Very good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I made a note on last week's um, agenda to ask you because I know you usually show up for these, but I uh, hope everything is okay at work. Uh, yeah, and actually, I have the day off today, so oh, I'm here and I'm fully present today. Nice. Hi, Daniel. Nice to see you here as well. How did everything go yesterday with the um, fundraiser pierogi pickup at the cultural center? Hi, Francis. Nice to see you here. Lily, nice to see you here as well. Good morning. You're on mute. Hello. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get all the buttons pushed. <laughs> Very good. good. Nice to see you here. Nice to meet you. Daniel, that's such great news. I read all your stuff and I'm sorry I didn't respond to you by email, but I just thought with the price of gas, it was easier to uh, support the invasion of Ukraine through the Red Cross. But uh, just just always so pleased to hear of community things that are being done to support the people. So thank you. And that's amazing that you guys raised so much money. That is just great. Good morning, Lily. Nice to see you here. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. So let's get started. What are we doing today? Um, <laughs> I'm asking you as if you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I realize that's kind of silly, isn't it? Um, so today it is March 28th. It is the end of the quarter. And so I thought that it would be useful for us to do a quarterly exercise. So if you don't have it, grab a notebook and a um, pen so that you can do the writing. Of course, you can always do it in a Google Doc, but um, I like doing these things. I like handwriting. For those of you who know me, you guys know that I am a handwriting person. It makes me, it solidifies what I'm learning. It slows my brain down so that I have to, um, you know, I have to focus and I have to really think through what I'm doing. And I also I don't know because I haven't done the research myself and I haven't looked at any peer reviewed um, studies, but I believe just my thought that there is a deep connection between writing with our hand and our brain and creating deeper learning and deeper integration. The other thing that I've done is I put a link in the chat for a PDF on the Google Drive that you can use if you don't wanna just use your journal. Um, I will walk you through everything. You don't have to have that PDF. It is not a writable. It's uh, something that you could print and use in the future if you like. Um, and just before we dive in, um, for those of you who know me, you guys know my name is Candy Moksek. I am a coach and I am a coach for coaches. Um, business and life coach for coaches specifically. And I have a, I've been in business for quite a while. My practice is just so much fun. I mean, how often do you get to create a life where you get to do the thing that you love to do, absolutely love to do, and I meet such amazing people along the way. 
and then I have amazing abundance to go with it. And that's one of the reasons that I decided to do these Monday sessions a few months ago, is that it's a chance for people who are who are either in my community who already know me to come back anytime. Um, normally, there are two or three of my current or past clients that join us. And if you're kind of curious, like, what am I like? What's it like to talk to me? What's it like to be in my space? If you're thinking of working with a coach, this is a great opportunity for that as well. And then I just do it as well because it's my gift. It's my gift to you. I believe that the world needs more coaches. We have so much stuff going on in the world and coaches really create a space for people to think about their lives to step in courageously into the life that they know that they are on this earth to be living. And so any way that I can support coaches to further that mission is just, I'm all in. So anyway, we're going to dive in. So today, what we're going to talk about is an energy audit. It's simple. We're doing it because it's the end of the quarter. And I want you to use this time together to... Um, to reflect for yourself, you know, like I'll guide you through some of the writing, but I really want you to start looking at the places in your life where you'd like to make some changes. And this entire exercise that we're doing in the end, you're going to come away with a little action plan. And I am always really, I'm adamant that we have small actions that we take. I think that that's a form of self-sabotage when we think of too big of goals, too big of actions. We take on too much at one time. We get that dopamine hit in our brain that we're gonna do something exciting, but it's not sustainable. And so the action plan that you'll create out of doing this exercise is a small action plan, something that you can take and do and that if you take these small steps and you just keep accumulating this series of small steps, the outcome is going to be so much bigger and so much more amazing than if you did that, took that big leap and tried to make it happen. So I think that we make much better progress by taking small cumulative steps than big flashy steps. So that's where we're going. So to begin with, this is about your personal experience and we're going to focus on your business because I mean your life is got all different parts with it, but let's just focus on your business for this call. And so the first question is around the area of people, people in your life related to your business. So let me ask you some questions and each time I ask a question, I'm going to pause, I'm going to give you some time to think and then write down your answers and then we'll just go through this step by step. So I've got four ways that we're going to approach this. One is people, one is time, one is you, and one is things. But we're starting with people. So the first question that I have for you is who in my business, these are partners, these are people that support you, these are clients, these are maybe friends and family that in relationship to your business. So who in my business drains me or wastes my time? I'd love you just to take a few moments and, and write down the names of the people. And you guys have permission to be totally 100% honest with yourself here. And it doesn't matter if you shred this document afterwards. Now, not today. Uh, yes, Lily. Yeah. Can you repeat the question one more time? Please? Yes. Who in my business drains me or wastes my time? Okay. Thank you. Does that make sense? Is or do you normally speak French? Is that or is Sorry? English, do you normally speak French? Yeah. This is okay. my first language, French. 
Okay. The second so, language. <laughs> so ask, so me, ask me to repeat any question. I'm happy to do so. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so who in my business drains me or wastes my time? And then not for today, but you might want to consider and why. Why do they drain you? And this is not from a place of blame, but this is from a place of how can you take control and step into the driver's seat for yourself? What are you allowing? Where do you not stand up for yourself? So I would give some thought to that. I'll give you about 30 seconds and then we'll come back and move on. All right, next question. I see heads still down, but I would encourage you to come back. As long as you've written the question down, then you can go back to it and revisit it after our session today. So the next question is, where have I been trying to do it all on my own? The reason that I'm asking this particular question, the where have I been trying to do it all on my own, is that so often the people that I encounter in coaching and building coaching practices, they are overachievers. Let's put it that way. You've got high expectations for yourself and you think that you have to work super, super hard and that you have to figure out every single thing on your own and we get this kind of like the do it yourself complex, but you know, there are other people in the world that have great gifts that maybe could support you and make it easier. So instead of you having to learn every single thing for yourself, you could create some neat collaborations with people and have a lot more fun and actually get a lot better results. So that's where that question came from. So the third question that I have for you, and again, we're still in, we're doing an energy audit around the area of people. What have I been putting up with? What have I been putting up with? Hey, come back to me. All right, take a deep breath. This is hard work sometimes, this place where we get really super honest with ourselves. And we know the answer, but sometimes we kind of avoid looking at the answer. And so just, I'm honored that you guys are doing the work. I'm watching you on the screen here and I'm seeing heads down and writing. And that means to me that you're really thinking deeply about these questions and really you know, taking stock of your life. That's important. It's important work and it takes courage. I just, I want to recognize that in you. So now the next, this is the final question for this part one people. Now I'm going to preface it with that. Just remember what I said about small steps, little tiny steps that accumulate are much more powerful. So this question is what can I adjust in this area of people? And I would love it if you would have a small list of things in like specific changes that you could make. 
I will no longer um, uh, take advice from people who have never been a coach or who've never had a business, or I will no longer allow myself to be continually interrupted. Make a small list. What can I change or adjust? And then after you've made a list, I'm gonna ask you to choose. I'd like you to fine tune the question and you may have an answer already, but you might not. I want you to look at that list that you wrote and I want you to circle or put a star beside one thing that you will say yes to and one thing that you will say no to. So it might look something like this. Here is my imaginary list around people. I have been allowing people to interrupt me. I put everybody else's priorities in front of mine, so I never actually work on my business. I take advice from people who have no idea about building a business. I look on social media and I get distracted with all the different options from all the people. So one thing that I might say yes to is to find half an hour a day where I focus on my business and I put my business and my desire for my business at the top of the list for 30 minutes, I might say yes, just to that. And what I might say no to is, you know what? I'm not going on social media and scrolling aimlessly anymore. It doesn't help me. It just makes me feel terrible, right? Maybe that's the thing that you're gonna say no to. So put a star or circle beside one thing that you will say yes to, and one thing that you will say no to. And these are small things. That's where I want you to focus. I'm going to give you another 10, 15 seconds, and then I want to hear how it went. What I love is if in the chat, you would give me a uh, type, what one thing will you say yes to? Type what it is. What's the one thing you will say yes to? Say yes to. Candy, do we have to use the chat or can we verbally speak? You can <clears throat> speak. You can speak for sure. Okay, sorry, because my chat, I can't really, I'm on my phone today, so I can't really maneuver between the two, sorry. No problem. Um, but I, I specifically said, I'm gonna dedicate 16 minutes a day towards my business um, in increments. In 16 minutes, I noticed um, when we did those activities, I'm um, like, what my time fillers, 16 minutes is my breaking point before I get burnt out, like I feel overwhelmed with the task. So 16 minutes is my point where I try to give a little bit of content before I just give up on the actual task at hand. For you. And I like that you're super specific and that, you, and that you've honored yourself too. Like those are two things that are super important. So you're gonna say yes to that. Good for you, excellent. Francis, making time to work on my business either daily or weekly. I would suggest I want you to take a small thing. So I would say make time to work on my business one hour a week. Something little like that. Something that you look at it and you go, ah, one hour? I could not, like, one, what could I actually accomplish in an hour? It's too little, right? But I want you to keep really small increments here. They are going to be so much more powerful when you grow on them. So type in the chat. What are you going to choose? I want to hear. <laughs> I know you've never been on one of these calls before, but <laughs> this is what it's like. And if I and if it made you nervous, I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. <laughs> Anybody else? Daniel, thank you. Make time to follow up with at least two prospective clients per day. Excellent. That's what you're going to say yes to. 
good for you. I want to give you this um, metaphor. Is it a metaphor? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a metaphor, but I want you to consider this around my approach with small activities. Is when you think of a river and you look at one of those rivers where they have the big, round, smooth river rocks and consider that those river rocks have been formed over millennia. Those rocks have been in certain places, the water has passed over them, the rocks have bumped up on each, on each other. For days, for months, for years, this small, small um, daily accumulation has taken a jagged rock and made it into a small river rock, right? So it's taken all those sharp edges and it's smoothed them right off. So that's the place that I want you to be thinking of with small activities. Lily, yes to work two or three hours a week on business. Lily, go for two. Keep it small, keep it doable. Then you're building a success path for yourself, okay? All right, good. Good work, you guys. So pleased that you're doing this. And thank you for, um, thank you for participating. This is hard work. All right, so the second part. We're moving on to time. So we've talked about people. Now we're going to talk about time. I'm going to ask you some questions. And you just take some time to write. So the first question, what are the top three things that I do to leverage my strengths and support my business? What are the top three things that I do that leverage my strength and support my business? I want you to not be shy with yourself. You've got strengths that maybe you don't own. Candy, can you repeat the second half of the question um, after leveraging my strengths? And support my business. Next question, where do I do busy work that I need help with? Where do I just spin my wheels and pretend that I'm doing the work and I'm really not? Where do I do busy work that I need help with? Back to me. Third question. What do I do that drains my own energy or wastes my own time? What do I do that drains my own energy or wastes my own time?
four around the area of time. A small list of things that you could change or adjust. Write your list. So oh, now you're going to start to see the theme. Now you have a small list of things that you could change or adjust that will increase your energy around your use of time. I want you to put a star or circle one thing that you say yes to and one thing that you say no to. So maybe your no might be in this answer or it might be in one of the other answers for the time. But I want you to star or circle that one thing. And I want, to, I want you to practice the skill of being decisive. All right, and I want to hear from you guys. How did it go? What are you learning about how you manage your own time? And what one thing would you say yes to or no to? Either pop, put in the chat or take yourself off mute and share with me. Um, I'll share, Candy. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so when you're writing down the things that you are, what I call them time wasters, right? Or time fillers. You get a more um, better visual or more over um, insight as to where you're not really productive or making good use of your time. Um, and for me, I usually overwork in my daytime job without taking frequent breaks for myself to take care of myself. Um, and then when I'm dead tired, I will get on. I'm guilty to of this of getting on TikTok, right? to relieve myself of comedy and things like that, but I'll be like extremely exhausted and like really physically drained. Um, and it carries on to the next day. So writing these down helps me understand that like I need to take better care of myself, right? And not doing things when I'm exhausted or dead tired so that I can have more energy for the things that I really want to do. Good awareness. I like that, yeah. Cool. Anybody else? What one thing will you say yes to or no to? Or what are you learning doing this work? You can either type it in the chat or you can take yourself off mute and share with us. It was interesting today because there's lots of heads down people writing. It makes me think I might have done, done too much, but that's okay. Okay. I'm, what I'm hoping is that if it is sort of too much, like I'm asking too many questions in a short amount of time, that you use it, take it away and work on this again and really learn how better to manage your own energy. Take more breaks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I would, you know, you guys know I'm this thing about specific, spec, 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 sorry, being specific, <laughs> yeah, not specificity, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> being specific. So take yeah, more well. breaks. It's hard to know if you're successful with that. So be specific. Mm-hmm. I will take one more break per day. And then you'll know I did it. I did it. But okay. more breaks is this elusive okay, I would say goal. Two more, two, two more breaks because I'm. Uh, uh, what uh, Lisha, it's Lisha said, resonate with me because when I'm working and I am teleworking, like I, I will be sitting from seven sometimes to four, even going on break, even eating. Yeah. And I realize that sometimes I don't eat for a long day, like for two days, I haven't eaten anything. Or I, when I my turn, my head is like, like I feel dizzy. It's yeah. when I realize that I need a break because my body is telling me, oh, stop it. I'm doing it when I am teleworking and doing it even when I am working on my business. I'm always focused on, I want to go to my result. I want to get to my result and I want way get up so i uh, start to a strategy that i i will put my alarm but it doesn't work it works for a while but now it doesn't work at all because even when i'm uh, listening to the to the alarm i will i will keep i going. won't stop you know i keep going i keep going working and you know it's interesting I, lily on that on this topic is um here's my here's my impression is that you think you will get the result faster because yes. you keep going 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 but when you look at the law of diminishing returns when you're exhausted when you're hungry when you haven't had a glass of water when you haven't moved your body the your efficiency has dropped so far so you're actually working against yourself right like and we yes. know that is so i know that at, and, and, and I'm telling you because I've done the same thing and I still do it sometimes too, right? Like just this go, 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 but it actually takes longer to get the result. And not yeah. only does it take longer, but the result might not be as high a quality as you would like it to be, right? Yeah. yeah. But good for you for being on to yourself and, and being honest about what, you know, what your pattern is. Yeah. So maybe just make that um there's you know like when you think of just for today just for today i will take two bricks and then tomorrow okay. tomorrow yeah. just for today and okay. every day is just for today it might make it easier to create that habit. that new okay. habit yeah thanks yeah <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next section. And thank you for sharing everybody, I really appreciate it. So I believe that we're only going to get through three of the four sections. And so you can download that Google Doc. Um, If you're not, if you don't have the link, you can just um, click on the, I think it's like the little three dots beside the chat and you'll be able to download the chat and then you'll have the link. think that's how it works. If not, just grab that Google Doc and I'll also include a link in the replay email that I send you and then you can work through the fourth fourth section, fourth section. So third section, we're just going to go in order is things. So where do I try to save time, money and energy? Sorry, where do I try to save money and end up wasting time and energy because I'm just making do. And I have making do in quotation marks. So a great example of this is me. My monitor needs a stand so that it's at the right height. I use a cardboard box. Why am I using a cardboard box? It makes it hard to get at the right height depending on what I'm doing. So I'm trying to save this tiny little bit of money by using a cardboard box instead of just buying a proper monitor stand. That's a specific example. So what about you? Where do you try to save money, but you end up wasting time and energy where you just are making do?
question. Do my workspace and tools support my best work? Do my workspace and tools support my best work? Now, I'm going to make a small list of things that you can change or adjust. Now, this might be my monitor stand, as an example. It may also be I just have clutter in my workspace. If I would just tidy up the clutter, I would have a clearer brain to do the best work that I can do as well. So a small list of things that you can change or adjust to make a more effective work environment for your business. Now, in this small list and in the answers to your questions, what one thing will you say yes to? And what one thing will you now say no to? Put a star or circle. And then pop in the chat if you can, or come off mute and tell me one thing that you will say yes to. Ooh, very good, Francis. Finally got a new cell phone on order. Yeah, probably instead of just trying to make do, right? Uh, oh, I've actually been doing a lot of different things like this. Like my workspace has changed because our home office used to be one of our bedrooms. Now we have a couple kids and they take over that space. So we don't have a desk area anymore. So then... Um, my daughter had a little art space we set up. Well, she's not really using it. So I kicked her out of there and turned it into our computer space. So yeah. it's getting a lot better. Yeah, that's great. And, it, and I really like this, how, you know, like you, you provided the space for her and then realized that she wasn't really using it. And so why not, why not use it for something that works well for you, right? Yeah, it's, it was just things that it was so annoying, like trying to work at, the table, but having to run to another room to hook up a printer. And so putting all those together finally in one place is making it a lot, a lot easier. So there's just so many other things, so many little things to work on, but one at a time, mm -hmm. you know, just this one thing for today, right? That's all you need. Just that one thing. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. All right. Anybody else putting things in the chat? Yes. No. And then we're going to move on to the next section. So what we're not doing today is we're not going to do section four, where we talk about you and how you treat yourself, mind, body, and spirit to support your highest energetic good. 
But download that Google Doc and you've got the questions right there. I want to show you the next piece that I'm wanting you to do. So this theme that you saw of, there we go. Now, how am I going to do this? I wonder. Uh, okay. Sorry, I am just clicking randomly on my desk. There we go. The theme that I had at the end of each section, which was one thing you will say no to and one thing you will say yes to. In this Google Doc, have a look at it and fill it in. And this is you creating your little action list, your action plan for how to manage your energy. So in the area of people, where we talked about people and what will you say yes to how you deal with people, or maybe the kinds of people that you will engage with, or maybe how you will say yes to how you are with them. And one thing that you will say no to. So all those things that you start or circled, you're now gonna have a little space to write them in. And when you complete that fourth section, the section of you, now you will have created an action plan to help you manage your energy better going forward. Does that make sense? Give me a head nod or a thumbs up. Yeah, good, thank you, good. And so we haven't completed the entire thing, but, thanks, Leisha, but, with the three sections that you've already done, you can already fill in those areas. And don't get stuck in the trap that it has to be the perfect thing. Like it's not that you have to have chosen the perfect thing to say yes to or the perfect thing to say no to. Don't go back to like, oh, did I choose the right thing? Maybe that's not the most important one. All these little tiny steps, they accumulate right? And together they accumulate into this much larger theme. So anything that you've said yes to or no to in our time together today, that's good enough. It doesn't have to be the perfect thing. It's what was in top of mind for you. And then fill those in, answer the you questions that are on the Google Doc. And now you could print this off and you could put it in your workspace. So it's like, remember, I was going to, like in Leisha's case, I'm going to work 16 minutes because I know that's my time. 16 minutes focused, 100% focused on my business, the most valuable use of my time. And then every time that you're actually doing that 16 minutes, you can see that on the list and you're like, yeah, this is my action plan. I'm actually making progress. This is exactly what I decided. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, come back to you. All right. Was this helpful? Will you use this? That's the question, right? That's always the question with coaching. Take it, use it, make it your own. And you know that with um, all of the things that I share on these coaching and conversation calls, they are yours to use going forward. So feel free to use this with your clients. It's, you know, yes, we do everything to grow ourselves to be more efficient, more efficient, effective, more fulfilled business owners. But if you see a tool and you're like, that would really be helpful for this particular client I'm working with, you take it and you use it with them. These are, this is 100% my gift to you. So you just go right ahead and use it. And I would love to hear if it's useful. That's the thing. Like send me an email or a DM and tell me, yeah, this, this really helped. You know, that's why, that's why I do this. So was this useful, you guys? I'd love to hear from you before we wrap up for today. Yeah, lots of head nods, lots of head nods. Thank you. So pleased that you guys were here. Any last words before we sign off for the day? Anything that, anything that I can help you with? Let me know. Um, I just want to say thank you, Candy, for always sharing this space and giving us um, new tools and um, insight to kind of hone in on ourselves and things like that. So I'm most appreciative of that. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I love starting my Mondays like this. I think I think I shared this secret with you guys. I don't know. But this is one of the ways that so this having this win-win 
mindset. Like I want to gift you this time and useful things that can help you grow. It really benefits me as well because it gives me a sense of who am I talking to? I know that I've started the week out in a way that supports you. And I find that the rest of my week is so productive because of how I start. So that's the gift that you give me by showing up and taking part in these times. I've got so much more energy to talk to my next clients for the rest of the day and for all the things that I'm creating for this week. So thank you too, I appreciate you. And thank you for showing up live and for showing me your wonderful, lovely faces and for sharing honestly and courageously and doing the work. I appreciate you. Okay, bye-bye.